Hi everybody, it's Tom again from Rocky Point Fitness and the Coquitlam Wellness Center. Uh, this is my third video in the sleep series. In a previous video, I talked about the three major influencers in falling asleep, melatonin, circadian rhythm, and sleep pressure in the form of the buildup of adenosine in our systems. And this occurs naturally throughout the day. Now, adenosine is basically one of the byproducts of the use of adenosine triphosphate or ATP, if that's easier for you to remember. ATP is like a currency in the body. Uh, you want to grip a toothbrush and brush your teeth while well, ATP is there providing the energy for the contraction of the muscles that are at work. You want to think about how to get that kernel of popcorn that's stuck in between your teeth? Well, ATP is there as a neurotransmitter at the synapses, providing the energy to fire those thoughts throughout the system. And just like the use of fuel in your car, there's going to be leftover byproducts. In a car, you know, we get carbon, bio carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, heat, etc. And it's the same with ATP. Once it fires, it breaks down into molecules. And of course, one of those molecules is our now famous adenosine. So as we go about our day, using our motor system, solving problems, wondering what to have for lunch, adenosine is building up and building up, producing sleep pressure as those adenosine molecules interact with receptors in our brains. We get enough of those receptors occupied by adenosine and we get the urge to sleep. Why? Why the pressure? Well, one reason could be that it's during sleep that one of the multitudes of tasks that's being completed by our body is the maintenance of those synapses within our brains. When we're asleep and in a deep sleep, Cerebral spinal fluid pulses throughout the system, flushing toxic memory impairing proteins that build up in our brains. And if these proteins get the chance to build up enough, they're going to produce something similar to a plaque. And these substances have been attributed to onset Alzheimer's and dementia. So there you go. Just another reason to get enough sleep and deep sleep for that matter. What I really wanted to highlight in this video is the number one way we mess with the sleep pressure system and trick ourselves into thinking that there is no sleep pressure. Have you guessed it yet? The world's most embraced psychoactive drug. We start our days with it, we socialize with it, we even give it to our kids. Caffeine. Here's how caffeine tricks us into thinking we're not tired. Let's consider this coffee mug as an adenosine receptor in our brains. We're going to go about our day and the adenosine is appearing and connecting with these receptors. So let's, uh, let's use this orange as a molecule of adenosine and there it goes. It's engaged with the receptor and sleep pressure is beginning to build up. 2 p.m. rolls around and we're thinking, man, I need to pick me up. And so you pour yourself a nice big mug of coffee or tea or have some chocolate or any number of the easy to reach items that contain caffeine. And guess what? Caffeine comes along and gives us that energetic feeling by connecting with that same receptor as adenosine. Once that caffeine is in the system, it bumps the adenosine out of the receptor, connects with the brain, and there we go. Temporary energy. Now the liver, it produces an enzyme called cytochrome. One of its jobs is to scrub the system of caffeine. But this can take up to six hours for the average person to run that scrub. That adenosine that just got bumped, it doesn't go anywhere. It's just been piling up. So once the caffeine has been cleared of the receptor, here comes the caffeine crash. The adenosine connects, and you could either have another cup of joe, but you're just proposing the inevitable. You gotta get some sleep. Hey, I'll never give up the coffee anytime soon. But what I would highly recommend is that you keep a six hour rule in mind. That is, avoid caffeine at least six hours before you plan on hitting the hay. And don't forget, there's still caffeine in decaffeinated coffee, it's in tea, it's in dark chocolate, cola, PMS remedies, headache remedies, breakfast cereals, it's like in everything. So make sure you check the ingredients. That's it for this video. Sleep tight. We'll be back with more strategies on getting a better night's sleep soon. Thanks for watching.